So the first step to remove the um, to replace your uh, your shock absorbers is removing the the top uh, rubber covers like so. Uh, so uh, while doing this, check out your uh, bearings, your suspension top bearings. These are, uh, they appear to be fine. No, no grinding noises nor any any slowness here. So I'll be keeping these uh, these bearings. So then we have to compress the springs. So we are using these tools, which are called the uh, spring compressors. <laughs> They are specifically designed for this. So place them uh, opposed to each other in order, in order for the compression to be uh, as uniform as possible. And then you have to bolt these, uh, to torque these uh, screws uh, to compress the spring. So after uh, compressing the springs, uh, we compress them until the maximum. Uh, remove the bolt from the center of the um, of the shock uh, absorber assembly. This this bolt here. Remove it. So this is the top of the of the assembly. Comes right off after you rem remove the the bolt from the middle. I have parts coming out. Looks like I'll have to replace uh, these. So uh, in this case, uh, we are seeing the um, the bumper. What remains? We are seeing the remains of uh, what used to be a bumper. Uh, this is obviously to throw away. Uh, then we have the protection. This is the spring. The spring which is compressed, so we'll set this aside. This is the other, uh, the remaining part of the bushing that uh, broke. So this was something like this, I guess. <laughs> so we are now looking at the at the state of these uh, these shock absorbers, and these are this is the new one, uh, and this is the old one. And uh, now we are seeing that it. There's a, a nice noise, like it's broken. It's now it an air pump. It's bleeding oil. Well, it's bleeding oil from the from the top of the of the um, assembly. So this is rubbish. <laughs> so. Um. In some cases, when you are replacing your um, shock absorbers or your springs, your suspension springs, uh, you may notice that the top and bottom protections, which are something like this, uh, are broken. And well, in my case, uh, I went to the dealer and they asked me for a, uh, they asked me a lot of money for this for these protections. You can mount your springs without any any protection just in the in the absorber but in the shock absorber but uh, they will uh, become rather nasty because the paint will come off and uh, also some noises will start to appear so uh, since nobody likes noises um, I'm trying to improvise a solution for this without having to spend 30 and uh, like 50 euros per per wheel of my car which is the values that uh, Toyota uh, quoted me with. So, um, I'm using um, an old, uh, you know, air, uh, air. You know, it's an, it's an, I know the English word for this. It's uh, the inner part of a tire, as you can find in your in your local tire shop. Um, I know this, this is from a truck or something. And uh, the idea is to cut uh, some circles of rubber um, to place in these uh, these problem areas, which are very broken. 
and uh, hopefully we can uh, improvise something to to cope with the noise. Uh, I'm not expecting this to last as much as a new as a replacement uh, protection, but when it starts making noise, you just do it again and it will be basically free. So the first step is to cut the the rubber uh, thing into uh, pieces. Uh, I'm saving a larger uh, uh, margin for wrapping the um, wrapping the rubber around the old protector uh, because what we are looking to to do is to build a, a wrap around this top around the top of the protector to replace the the broken parts. Um, so let's do this. So I've cut the your I've cut my my uh, rubber piece into two, and now we have two perfectly equal um, rubber pieces to put on the top of our shock absorbers. Uh, I'm planning to compress the springs and uh, install this. Um, with uh, with this protection and the excess um, in the in the shock absorber, and then I will trim the excess uh, rubber after this is installed, so that I know that it won't uh, uh, fall out or uh, escape the um, the match between the spring and the shock absorber. Repeat the process for the. Um, for the bottom protection of the shock absorbers so that you can get two more of these pieces so uh, this is the top of the this is the top of the shock uh, absorber assembly and the protection goes here what we have to do is place this uh, piece of rubber in here on the top and then see more or less where the middle of the of the assembly will be this is where the shock this is where the <laughs> the shock absorber will be um, and uh, and we have to cut in order for the the shock absorber to fit in here <laughs> So, cut uh, uh, the center of the of the rubber sheet, and uh, it cut it uh, approximately the same size as uh, the place uh, where the um, shock absorber will go into. So now let's proceed with the assembly of this uh, suspension strut. Uh, start by recompressing the the springs so place your uh, rubber piece on the base of the of the shock absorber and then you have to place to place the old protection on top of this uh, be careful because there is a short uh, spike on the rubber uh, grommet on the on the base you have to make it match to a hole on the shock absorber, which you can see there, this small hole here. So we'll have to make a hole in the in the rubber uh, that we have improvised. Place the the rubber protection that we have cut. Place the old protection, then the the shock absorber uh, boot, and then the spring. Put in the spring, then place the top rubber protection, the, the old one, which is underneath this this sheet, then the sheet itself, and then the top uh, the top part of the of the assembly. The final part will be this one. We will be replacing these uh, all these worn out uh, bearing protections. This is the purpose of these 
to avoid dirt getting into the, the bearings. Seems like I'll have to put some grease in here also and then put in the new protections. This is the final part that you have to bolt on the top of, the, of your assembly. An important detail that you have to take into account when putting this part on the top of the of the strut is that the outside of the the position of this in the in the strut assembly because this this has an incline, so it depends on the place you are. Uh, well, it, you must place it properly. So look for the indication. There is an indication on the outer part that says out. You have to align this arrow with the uh, with these uh, these parts, which will be uh, towards the outside of the car, towards the the sides of the car. So I'm now removing the parts, the remainder of these of the old bearing protections, which are broken. This is important because it avoids dirt. From get, it prevents dirt from getting into the the bearing assembly, which can be quite expensive. So, and the, the protections are very cheap. So, I, I recommend that you remove the old protections when doing this, and uh, place some new grease in here. I have here the new the new protections, which I bought in the in my local the local Toyota dealer. That's it. Get some uh, axle grease, regular axle grease will do, and uh, place it on the on the bearing. Finally, the top nut which holds all this all this stuff in place uh, should come in your new uh, shock absorber should come with your new shock absorber remove it and install it on the on the top of the shock absorber's shaft tighten the bolt do not tighten it all the way you the final tightening will be in the car just so that it won't every, anything won't come out when inserting the top uh, disc be careful to match the those two uh, straight grooves because it's not a, cir a circle this has a, a, this, this has these uh, these two grooves match them with the grooves on the on the top of the shaft or else the shaft will turn and you won't be able to tighten this now remove the now remove the spring compressors Uh, so we have the full assembly and then we uh, just have to cut off the excess uh, rubber around the, the assembly and that's it so here is the finished product uh, we have uh, the rubbers there on the top it seems like they have the added, added uh, benefit of avoiding dirt coming into the, the bearings uh, well, let's hope this this can uh, avoid the noise between the spring and the shock absorber. Now, do the same for the other one.